It was a pretty solid round of Super Coach, but it had the potential to be a whole lot better. 24 or 5, a little bit of a ranking rise. We'll still take it. At this point, if we get into the top 10k by the end of the season, that would be great. Definitely nowhere near what we wanted at the start of the year, but considering how stinky this season has been, a four-figure rank wouldn't be too bad, I guess. It was a dull start to the round when Darcy Parrish was ruled out for four weeks. He was the only good thing that I really had going from my starting team. And of course, something had to happen to him. It was a disaster since the buys. Thought it would be all good again when he came back against Sydney, got a 112. But unfortunately, his calf issues flared up again. And he got traded instead of Cripps to Jack Steele. But there was a lot of good to come from this week, particularly from my pods. Cam Guthrie was an absolute workhorse. Jack Steele, very good. As was Darcy, Taranto, and Connor Rosie. What an absolute beast. He was really a why not sort of pick when I brought him in. Butters and Dugowie were out. And I just decided to wing it and bring in Rosie. And it's been a good three weeks owning him so far, so hopefully he keeps it up. There weren't too many negatives, but the bad was really bad. First off, the C on Lockie Neal jinxed him big time last week. Got tagged, and yeah, no good. No good, that C score. If I just VC'd Took, none of this would have happened. Clary getting injured, hopefully he'll be good to go for round 18, but it sounds more like he'll be out and he'll come back round 19. So we'll see. Crisp has been a bit out of sorts lately. Dunkley had a stinker and Lockie Whitfield. Oh jeez. We trade him out. And he doesn't score under the ton at all. We bring him back. Two scores under the ton and a 46. Oh boy. Didn't get to watch the game either, so I don't even know what went wrong, but what an absolute shocker. Man. I only have one trade too, and I won't be irresponsible with this one. That's definitely going towards an injury trade. So, the only way he goes, Whitfield, is if he gets injured, so just gotta hope he bounces back, because what the hell is this? For round 18, if Clary's out, we'll cover with either Saligo or Carmichael. Adelaide and Collingwood verse each other, so we can't loop, unfortunately. Don't think we would be able to anyway, because St Kilda play on the Friday night. VC and C could go McRae VC against St Kilda. Yeah, maybe Cogs, bit of a pod VC. I'm tempted. We're just. Keep it on McRae for now, but I am tempted to VC Cogs. Now you know what? I'm going to chuck the VC on Cogs. We'll see if that changes, but... I don't mind it. The C... Could go to Took. Ooh, Essendon tag again. That's the question. I feel like they just did it because Neil absolutely destroyed them in round 2. Yeah, I'll just keep the C on Took. But yeah, that's the team for round 18. Gonna be a bit boring now, not being able to trade. But I just hope no one goes down with injury. I'd rather not be using my injury trade so soon. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully my pods continue to roll. Been loving the Guthrie picks so far. Rosie and Taranto going all right. Whitfield, wake up please. 
Oh, and Jack Steele as well. Hopefully he continues to be a pod, because that's a pretty bloody handy pod to have. But anyway, that will do it. Good luck to you all for round 18, and see you on the next one.